Hi ladies, I want to tell you about a pair of unique women in the New Testament, Euodia and Syntyche. These two remind me of the Scottish thistle that is equal parts pleasure and pain. Their sharp prickles keep herbivores away from eating the bloom, while the pollen invites bees to stop by for a nibble. Thistles often produce more than one head, and even though these two were part of one body in Philippi, we know that a two-headed beast have a tough time agreeing on anything. While these two fought fiercely for the advancement of the gospel, they also fought each other. The Apostle Paul urged them to be of one mind. Can you imagine having your name written in the Bible? I suppose the natural follow-up question would be, why? Why is my name written in the Bible? Did I do something awesome or something loathsome? Or both? One thing I love about scripture, unlike social media, is that it's honest. It isn't carefully curated to take away people's flaws. It's generous to include their victories. Sadly, for Euodia and Syntyche, something went wrong. These friends wound up being frenemies. At one time they stood side by side, and then they stood against each other. Now, they were still Christians. Paul noted that their names were written in the Book of Life, and they were valuable believers, but their once lofty thoughts had become earthly. The carnal replaced the spiritual. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, Paul said. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ Jesus forgave you. The verb get rid implies taking out the trash of worldly thinking. Sometimes we have to weed our overgrown gardens to keep the seed of the word from being choked out. We'll talk more about these thistles, Euodia and Syntyche, at Sheology.